Hi, hello everyone. This is Vandita and today we are going to discuss about public documents and presumption as to the documents in Indian Evidence Act. So firstly, what is the definition of public documents? Public documents are those documents which are authenticated by a public officer and subsequently which is made available to the public at large for reference and use. Public documents also contain statements made by the public officer in their official capacity, which acts as a admissible evidence of the fact in civil matters. These documents are also known as public records as these are issued or published for public knowledge. What documents are said to be public documents? According to Section 74 of Indian Evidence Act 1872, states that the following documents are considered as public documents. Documents forming the acts or records of the acts of sovereign authority of official bodies and tribunals of public officers, legislative, judiciary and executive of any part of India or of the commonwealth or of a foreign country. The public record kept in any state of private document. So, the sections from 79 to 90 of Indian Evidence Act provides various presumptions as to the documents. There are certain presumptions regarding the documentary evidence in this act. According to the Indian Evidence Act, the presumption is of two types. There are certain cases in which the court shall presume and in certain cases it may presume. The terms are defined in Section 4 of the Indian Evidence Act. According to this section, may presume means whether it is mentioned by this act that the court may presume a fact, it may either consider such fact as proved unless and until it is disproved or may call for proof of it. Shall presume means whenever it is mentioned in this act that the court shall presume a fact, it shall consider such fact as proved unless and until it is disproved. Presumption as to genuineness of certified copies. The certified copies are the copies of public documents that are provided by the authorized officer when it is necessary for inspection. Section 79 of the Indian Evidence Act provides the presumption as to the genuineness of these certified copies. According to this section, the court presumes the certified copy to be genuine when it comes with a valid certificate. The court also presumes that the officer who has signed the documents holds the official character of the designation mentioned in the certificate. The certified copy of the public document must contain a certificate which is proved by the authorized officer that has to mention that it is the true copy of the document and the officer has to sign the certificate with their name and they also have to mention the date and designation. The certificate should also be sealed whenever it is necessary by the authorized officer. Presumption as to documents produced as records of evidence. Section 80 of the Indian Evidence Act provides the various presumptions regarding the documents which are provided as evidence. The documents provided for inspection can be a record for memorandum of the evidence that is provided by a witness during the judicial proceeding before the officer authorized by law to take evidence or it can be a statement or confession that is provided by any prisoner or person who is accused, which taken in accordance with the law and the confession must be signed by the magistrate or any other officer authorized.
presumption as to gadgets newspapers private acts of the parliament and other documents according to section 81 with the presumption regarding gadgets newspapers private acts of the parliament the court presumes the following documents to be genuine according to this section the document professed to be the london gazette or any official gazette or the government gazette of any colony the documents which are a dependency of profession of the british crown newspaper or journal copy of a private act of parliament of the united kingdom which is printed by the queen's printer the documents must be kept in the substantial form mentioned in the law and also it must be produced from proper custody the court also presumes the official gazettes kept in the electronic form is genuine if it is kept in the substantial form mentioned in the law presumption as to the power of attorney according to section 85 the court shall presume that every document that is considered to be the power of attorney and that is executed before the authorized officer or notary public or any court or before any magistrate is executed and authenticated according to section 88a provides various presumptions regarding electronic messages according to this section the court presumes that an electronic message which is forwarded by the originator by means of an electronic mail server to the addressee to whom the message claims to be addressed corresponds with the message as fed into his computer or transmission according to the section the terms addressee and originator has the same meaning as mentioned in the clauses b and z a of subsection 1 of section 2 of information technology act 2000 according to section 89 of the indian evidence act provides various presumptions regarding the due execution of documents not produced the court presumes that every document that is called for inspection and the documents are not produced even after the notice period it is presumed that the documents are attested stamped and executed in the manner which is prescribed by law according to section 90 of the indian evidence act deals with the presumption as to the documents that are 30 years old the court presumes that any document which is produced for investigation in form proper custody and the signature corresponds to the signature of the person whose custody the document was in the court also presumes that any handwriting in the document is the handwriting of the person who has the custody of the document it is also presumed by the court that in case if the document attested or executed that it was duly executed and attested by the persons by whom it professes to be executed and attested the term proper custody means that the document is with the care of the person and in a place where it would naturally be for example a has been in possession of a certain property for a long time he produces from his custody deeds the various documents relating to the land showing his titles to it and the custody is held to be proper section 98 of indian evidence act provides the various presumptions regarding electronic records of 5 years old according to this section the court presumes that even any electronic record that is above 5 years old it is procured from the proper custody of investigation it is presumed that the digital signature corresponds to the prop particular person whose custody the record is or the signature belongs to the person who has authorized it the term proper custody means 
that the electronic record is with the care of the person and in a place where it would naturally be it is also mentioned in the section that no custody is improper if it is proved that the custody is of legitimate origin in the particular case to render such origin possible so finally private documents are an important part of the indian evidence act understanding the rules of their admissibility is essential for ensuring fair trials and justice while the rules are complex case law examples provide guidance on how they are applied in practice the presumptions make the investigation easier and fast the court has to follow all the presumptions as it can only change its notion on presumptions only when it is necessary the documents have a lot of evidentiary value in it and it is important to investigate them properly and also save the court's valuable time at the same time thank you